Hey there and welcome to another video. Today we are checking out, I'm going to try and pronounce this correctly, I don't know if I will, uh, UC Tieko, Tiokoku. I apologise in advance, I do apologise. And the song is Astral Dogma. I'm looking forward to checking this out, I've never heard this group. Um, so yeah, it should be quite interesting. This came up as a uh, YouTube referral, so uh, I thought it was quite interesting to do uh we'll share thoughts and feelings at the end etc when we get to the end part of the video uh but remember grab yourself your drinks grab yourself snacks because now it's time for musician reacts <laughs> Okay, so this is back to me. We're going back to checking out some more of the Japanese um, and Asian markets. I've been checking out a lot of like uh, European bands and stuff like that over the last few months and uh, Patreon requests and stuff like that. Uh, and obviously Indonesian artists. And I wanted to try and go back and do some of the Japanese artists and Korean artists and uh, some of the Chinese groups as well. So there was a few different uh, sort of regions I wanted to go and check out. So, uh, And this came up as a recommendation uh now i have got lyrics up in translation translation always does go a bit funny but we'll, we'll work out the lyrics at the end uh but yeah let's do this there'll be no pausing or talking that way you can enjoy the song i can enjoy the song uh and let's get to this count it in three two one go
Okay, you say T.A. Koko and Astral Dogma. That was a great track. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, wasn't what I was expecting at all, so uh, I love that. Um, we'll go through it in a bit more detail as we go. So uh, visually, love the video. I thought the video stylization and just the lighting, everything about the video was really cool. Uh, thoroughly enjoyable. Lots going on in the video. Just a lot of thought process has been put into like just the overall stylization, so I really liked that. Uh, musically, I liked this. They got like the, the was it the harpsichord instrumentation kind of music box uh, theatric theatricality. Um, that was very cool. Um, I love the switch that they do between the kind of operatic music box stuff into classic metal, uh, into power metal and symphonic style metal as well uh all kind of mixed in there so that was very 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 cool i really liked that um the production of the song awesome love that great sound across all instrumentation uh love her voice she's got a really delicate voice uh reminds me a little bit of uh black briar uh singer from that band um but she's got yeah she's got a very delicate voice Great theatricality in her performance in the video, so she's obviously putting it across very well. Uh, one thing I did notice is there's a lot of layering of vocals, especially over the choruses. Uh, so it's, there's a lot, there's backing vocals all the way through, just giving it a fuller tone. Because that's my only one thing I'm worried, oh, not worried about, I'm just wondering about is um, she's got such a delicate tone. How does she perform that live when it's just her? I would assume she's going to get drowned out by the rest of the instruments unless they've got a really amazing sound engineer at the front because when she's singing like that unless she puts a lot more power now if she changes that and puts a lot more power into it that's going to change the pitch and the tone potentially because it is going to change how it sounds because when you hear her in the on that particular recording you can tell that she's not having to push loads of power through to get that tone but to get the volume to get it through the mic, unless she, because as I said, unless she's got a great sound engineer out front who's able to get that nice balance right. Because what you could do is obviously bring her mics up. The only problem is that mic will pick up a bit more of the background. And also then if she does kind of push through at any power, any points, it could just kind of overwhelm the system and get a lot of clipping and distortion. Um, and also there's quite a lot of backing tracks. So I assume this band plays live with a backing track for all the um, operatic elements to make sure that it all kind of falls in because you could otherwise you'd just lose that if you didn't you lose the bit the feel of the song otherwise uh let's have a look at the lyrics i did have the lyrics but i didn't want to kind of go through them until um the video had finished because uh I, you miss bits in the video if you're off there looking at lyrics so we have a <laughs> the lyrics according to the translation from google translate the gloomy big clock that time plays night nightly masquerade in a skyscraper that stores gold nuggets the fantasy metropolis of rusted brass with gold leaf collapses and falls. The price. I'm, I'm reading this out to hope that I can actually get a, white, a vague idea. The price of the pitiful golden age and the princess lamented the world. Romanesque that decorates the bodies with vanity. I'm naked for the first time after being burned. If you read the revelation from the constellation, God, I have no idea. I've just read a whole verse worth and I'm looking at it going, I have no idea what is going on there. It sounded great when she was singing it, uh, but when you read it in English, I guess if there's a topic, so if we're talking about, I guess, so astral dogma, so dogma is basically it's the indoctrination it's um so it's the the rules or the laws or the space so we talk about spatial astral in the sky dogma dogma is to talk about it so if we take the lyrics and refer that to that if you read the revelation from the constellation so that's like reading horoscopes i guess is a one way of looking at it guided to a further world so it's like the price of the pitiful golden age and the princess lamented the world Princess, maybe the princess is a star constellation. I have no idea. I think this all kind of ties in there. I mean, so like the way the line is nightly masquerade in a skyscraper up top that stores gold nuggets, gold from heaven. 
I don't know. Let, if you know what it's all about, let me know in the comments down below. I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, but I will definitely check out this band again in the future because I've thoroughly enjoyed them. Now, if you like this video, please do subscribe. Click the bell icon, like and share. Remember, always be yourself. Unless you can be Batman, then always be Batman. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.